Like and subscribe in the next five seconds and your charged shotgun will actually shoot the next time you need it to. Hey, what's up guys? It's your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. Today, we're bringing you 10 things about season three you need to know right now. This video is gonna cover things you didn't know like tips for using the charged shotgun, tons of tricks and secrets to mess with your friends or win more fights and so much more. So make sure you stick around to the very end because the last thing you need to know about in this video is super broken and may not even be in the game for very much longer. So do not miss it. But before before we begin, double check to see that you're subscribed with that sweet, sweet notification bell rang. Drop a like on this video and also be sure to leave us a comment telling us what you think are some of the best parts of Fortnite Season 3 so far. Because really, there have been a ton of mixed reviews about this season. It seems like casual players love it. Pro players hate it. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. Let me know what you guys think and let's get rolling. Starting off with number 10, make sure to be very careful when using a zip line next to shallow water because if you're high enough up and you drop into shallow water, you will actually die. I know this is crazy because you're supposed to be able to fall after using a zip line, but instead the water seems to reset this. And when you barely hit the water before touching the ground, it takes that away and you take full fall damage. It's a pretty weird mechanic, although for some reason it kind of makes sense because water is technically a surface and the buff from the zip line goes away as soon as you touch anything. Thing. Although I do think Epic should take a look at this and consider making it so that you don't die from fall damage in such a rage inducing way. Hit like if you agree with that. Another unexpected thing, number nine. Epic actually left some boats and helicopters underwater in old locations. Now I bet you're wondering like maybe this is just so when the map starts to drain, which we've heard we'll talk about in a sec, we can reach these boats and chop us without Epic ever needing to put them back into the game. And although that does make sense, it's even better than that because you can just shoot them with any gun from the water and they will float to the surface and you can use them no problem how crazy is that that is a super useful thing whether epic intended for this to be possible or not i don't really know because it's really hard to actually find where the boats or helicopters are but if you do manage to see one underwater and you need to rotate to the circle you're in luck and lucky for you, we've got number eight, guys, where we'll teach you everything we know about the charge shotgun so far and how to use it properly because chances are you haven't been using it to the best of its ability, so wait till you see this. This thing is strong. Pros are starting to catch on with all these tips and tricks that we found when using it, and you need to know about them and use them too. Starting off with the charge shotgun, it can actually shoot through walls. Now, hold on. Let me show you. If you edit a window like this and charge your shotgun, you can shoot straight through based on certain angles and as you can see here with attack at the exact same angle it doesn't work this is already being abused by pros and they are catching on quick with just how strong the charge shotgun is i don't know what you think about it so far but when you learn about number seven which is shooting a charged shotgun instantly, you'll start to realize maybe it isn't so bad after all. Sure, charging the shotgun is definitely the way it's intended and much stronger, but it doesn't have to be shot that way. The charged shotgun being a hold and release weapon, it's simple enough to use, but a lot of players are used to holding down the trigger or the mouse button after firing. And it's a habit that you guys are gonna have to break in order to be efficient at using the charged shotgun. You can actually fire the gun instantly just by simply tapping the mouse button or the trigger on your controller, which makes this gun feel just like the pump, except with two less shots and realistically this is why epic was thinking it would be so strong that it should only have three shots in it in the first place because they were under the impression players would realize right away that you can fire it instantly by simply pressing the button or tapping really fast but it took many players a little while to figure this one out with it being an entirely new mechanic being introduced in the game also one last but even more insane thing about the charge shotgun it's number six charging your shotgun and walking through a door will keep your charge on your shotgun this is kind of a new way for you to be able to edit a wall and use your fully charged shotgun instantly it's not necessarily the same reaction as just editing the bottom three squares or a window but at least you'll have a fully charged shotgun instead of having to tap and deal less damage this is especially strong if you have auto open doors on i'm not gonna lie i'm glad that this is a mechanic because i could already see having auto open doors on getting in the way of using your charge shot being really annoying so there you go surprise your friends in box fights with that awesome trick also side note on the charge shotgun how awesome would it be if epic brought back boogie bombs as a great combo for players that are using the charge shotgun it'd be high risk high reward which is always a good trade-off but i don't know should epic unvault the boogie bombs because I do kind of miss them. Those things were super fun. It would bring an interesting mechanic to using the charged shotgun. But anyways, back on track with our top five things you need to know 
well to make it through season three. We've got number five, the ability to hip fire a hunting rifle that has a gold rarity. And I'm not just saying that you can do that because obviously you can shoot a hunting rifle without aiming down the sights, but with the legendary rarity, there's almost no bloom, even when you're jumping, guys. Like, for real, this thing is kind of broken. And if you can pull it off well, it is very easy to land shots while jumping or hip firing with the golden hunting rifle. It did always feel back before the gun was removed originally that it was a headshot magnet and maybe no one noticed before or something, but now this gun is really strong when you get the legendary variant. So keep an eye out for one of those next time and get a sick trick shot in honor of this Denver guy, AKA Den Top 10. We saved the best for last guys. So make sure you stick around for our top three, but for now we have our number four spot. And this one is more of a big warning so you guys don't die for basically no reason at all. And it might seem super obvious to you, but be careful what water you're dropping into. Epic made some water seem like you can fall into it and then you just die and that's it. Some parts of water even have old remnants of buildings or whatever else in it. So if you fall into the water, you don't even see it. You hit those even though you see nothing under the water, then that might be it for you. So learn these places. One thing I like to do is fly around in a heli and battle labs and just kind of scout out these places you can avoid. But hopefully Epic fixes this soon so that no matter what, if you land in water like higher than the character's waist or something, then you survive at least so we can see what we're dying to. Now, before we get into the top three tips for you guys, are you making sure to use code Dead Denver Guy YT? in the item shop. If you are, your first favorite PE teacher, Todd, says thank you. That's why I'm the second favorite PE teacher. Someday I'm gonna beat Todd. All right, let's look at number three, when the map is going to drain. Now this is entirely based off some super smart math from Reddit user X Strike. I would assume you say it, so blame him if it's wrong. No, I'm just kidding, you can blame me too. But according to this right here, we can all expect the map to actually start draining and more locations will become available as time goes on. When it gets to be August 18th, we should theoretically see pretty much the entire entire map uncovered, which would be kind of weird. And I'm not sure how you guys feel about that. Like are sharks just going to go away or be only on the outer parts of the map? It seems like this entire season has so much more to do with boats and water mechanics. And I don't know, is Epic just going to drain all of that away? I don't know. You guys should tell me what you think Epic is going to do. I know they plan on giving us cars as the map starts to drain, but do we really want that to change so soon? Although it is going to be pretty exciting to see how the storyline is affected and what these locations around the map are going to look like when they do finally drain all the way out. Now, launching our way into number two, we've got one that you may need to pay attention to because you'll be very confused if this happens to you. You might even feel a little bit cheated. When you have Kit's Shockwave Launcher and you use it from one of the big bushes like this, it will actually take away the shockwave no fall damage effect and cause you to take full damage when you land. It's very similar to the zipline bug and I'm sure it would happen exactly the same way if you were to shockwave into shallow water. Be careful when using this because it's obviously extremely fun. You can pull off some sick plays with it, but if the conditions are wrong, you're gonna be finding yourself in a situation that you probably didn't anticipate. And for our final spot, guys, we have number one, a trick for when you're in a helicopter and don't want to take fall damage, even if you get shot down. This is a really strong way to feel safe in the final circle. And trust me, you guys need to use this before Epic takes it out of the game completely. There are two ways to do this. Are you ready? Okay, take a helicopter to one of the geysers like how we're showing here. Get out quickly and just before you're about to be thrown out by the geyser, get back into the helicopter and then boom, you have glider redeploy now. I don't know if you can manage to do it quick enough with like a squad, but just imagine how confused players would be if you and your squad were shot out of your helicopter and you all just had glider redeploy. Now there is one more way to do this and it might work for multiple people, but it at least works for the driver. You can just take your helicopter to one of the map placed crash pads and wait until you hear the crash pad sound. And then you'll actually have the crash pad buff where you don't take fall damage until you hit the ground. How crazy is that okay guys those were the 10 things we think you need to know in order to make it through season three with as little scars and bruises as possible make sure you hit like and subscribe if you guys didn't already and get that notification bell turned on and use code that Denver YT. be sure to leave a comment letting us know any tips or tricks that you guys might have and as always i hope you guys have a wonderful day love denver